Everybody love kids. How they laugh, play eat everything that sweet that relax our brain by seeing them but what if doing all that mysterious that not status to theory age and expertise. So we have collected top 10 creepy child horror movies that will make you not want kids ever so let's get started. Number 10. The Kids with the Weird Eyes from Village of the Damned. When all the women of childbearing age get pregnant simultaneously overnight in an English town, you have a hunch that their offspring might be, well, a little off. You'd be right, the women give birth to these platinum-mopped emotionless kids who can read minds and make adults do whatever they want them to do. It just goes to show that next time you want to conceive a child, don't. Number 9. Damien in the Omen. Damien is the worst. Not only is the way he comes into the Thorne family totally objectionable, the mother Catherine gives birth to a baby that she doesn't realize has died, and the hospital when Damien's nanny leaps to her own death, shouting joyfully look at me Damien. It's all for you, we know something seriously dark is up. You, too, might get pregnant, and then the father of your child thinks it's funny to do a little switcheroo, and the next thing you know you're looking after the spawn of Satan. It happens all the time. Eight Samara from the Ring. What would a list of creepy horror movie kids be without Samara? The long-haired, long-dead ghoul who clambers out of TV screens to murder whoever has just watched her videotape is so much scarier because she's a little girl. No 7. Reagan McNeil from The Exorcist. When 12 year old Reagan McNeil gets possessed by the devil, she's not just creepy, she's so unruly. This isn't just a spine chilling tale, but could also be perceived as a metaphor for parenting a kid going through the throes of puberty, the cussing seems about right. This could be you in 12 years. Number 6. Gage Creed from Pet Cemetery. When Creed's dad decides to bury the corpse of his son in a creepy pet cemetery that seems to have magical powers, Creed comes back to life. But he's not exactly the son his father remembered, instead, he's a murderous scalpel wielding psychopath. Just. Don't. Have. Kids. Number 5. Eli from Let the Right One Eye and She's a Vampire. She's a freaking child vampire who uses her cute to get adults to stop and help her and then she sucks them dry of blood. A fun reminder that you shouldn't talk to strangers, not even prepubescent ones. No 4. Bartow from The Unborn OK, so this film about debugs and hallucinations is pretty B-movie silly, but the demonic children in it are freaking terrifying. For reals. Number 3. The Children from The Children. Like a 2008, British version of the Children of the Corn, after a mysterious infection, the kids in this movie go from seemingly normal and obedient to murderous over the course of the film. The Children Number 2. Carol Ann Freeling from Poltergeist. A reminder that, even if you have a nice kid, they could still have that most horror movie kid-esque of qualities, acting as a human magnet for all kinds of creepy supernatural stuff around you. So it is with poor Freeling, who communicates with demons through the TV.
Number 1. Nora Carveth's Kids in the Brood. When Dr. Raglan uses his bold new method of psychic pain to create physical effect, psychoplasmics, on the already pretty messed up Nora Carveth, she conceives a brood of tiny childlike things who go on to murder her grandmother. They won't find you, but you won't escape. Once unleashed, the brood will destroy anyone who gets in their way. David Cronenberg's Ultimate Experience in Inner Terror, starring Oliver Reed. Please like, share, and comment, and lastly, don't forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell for future updates. Or you will not get the PlayStation 5.